SEPA is, stands for the Children's Internet Protection Act, and uh, it's an act that the FCC uh, came out with to uh, promote schools and libraries to make sure that they had appropriate content or that people weren't able to access, specifically students in our case, access inappropriate content. And it specifically cites pictures that are obscene, um, pornographic, or harmful to minors in some way. Uh, there's another part of SEPA though that schools need to apply that is referring to educating the students about use on social media and sharing information and things like that that uh, a lot of schools are just blocking instead of uh, educating minors about it. But the SEPA Act specifically refers to um, not allowing access to those three things that I mentioned and educating minors about effective and appropriate use of the internet. School's internet filter is probably evil. It eliminates choices like that. You guess have to learn to control yourself, right? That's what I feel. Okay, so the school's, the school's internet filter, I think um, as a faculty member when I log in, I can always access what I want, but um, I feel for the students because when they're logged in, I don't know all why it's different, but it's, it's tough. So I think we should look at something new. I think the internet filter system, I think, is pretty good. Uh, blocks out stuff that uh, should be blocked out. And um, Every once in a while they run into something that I wish it did, but it's probably safe that it's not there. Uh, the school web filter, uh, in my opinion, I'm okay with it. Uh, I've never been blocked. I've been blocked from very few sites that have been, uh, that I've wanted to get to, so I do not have a problem with school work I think it's doing a good job. If students don't like it, it's probably doing an excellent job. Alright, um, as far as the computer filter in our school, um, obviously it's necessary to have filters, and so, because um, there's a lot out there that we, we don't want to expose ourselves to, and so as a teacher obviously there's things that we have access to that students don't, and um, that is kind of necessary in order to be able to, to look things up. And, um, but I think it is good that, this, that there is a filter system. Sometimes I know people have ways around it, which is um, a little bit scary because of the fact that um, if someone accesses something, it can you know, put them at risk in a lot of ways. So um, I think filters are necessary. Um, I think we have to stay on top of it to make sure we have the best filter filters that are out there um, that can uh, allow us the most uh, you know, freedom to, to do research and things. So I know that's a problem sometimes that um, you everything gets blocked, so you can't look up anything, and that can be a problem. So I think there's a need for continued improvement of, of filters, filtering systems for uh, so students can access that information they need, but also they are protected as well as teachers. So um, I think it's important to have a, a good filtering system and that we uh, stay up to date with the, the best that's out there. What's my opinion about the school's web filter? Yeah. Uh, that's a good question. I think it's, uh, it's a good idea because the district has some pretty clear guidelines on what the students can and cannot access. And I think that the filter really is there to protect the students and to protect the school uh, from uh, allowing or uh, having the students get onto things that um, they're not supposed to get on or also that could potentially open up maybe even a lawsuit or things like this uh, that, that could come on. The, the students probably don't see it that way, but there could be some angry parents that if they found out that their students were allowed to access things that uh, the parents don't allow at home, then I think that uh, that's kind of what would happen. And so I think that's what the school's really looking at uh, more than anything. I don't think they're trying to just be mean. Uh, or honoring to the students. I just think that that's kind of, there's some legal implications I think they're looking at. I feel as if the school's internet filter needs to block out dirt biking videos. I feel like the web filter is uh, a little too broad and cuts out a lot of information that students should be able to access. And it really stops kids from learning. So I think that it should be fixed. I don't know, the school's internet filter is pretty all right get done what I need to get done. 
have no opinion on the web filter. <laughs> and it's good because we don't want to be unfiltered. Well, I think it's crap, to be honest. Um, it blocks like pretty much everything I want to do on my phone. And that kind of stinks because it's my phone and I should be able to do what I want on my phone. So, that's what I got. Everybody knows some of the Ten Commandments were Thou shalt not kill, thou shalt not steal, and thou shalt not put a blocker on thy school's websites. We are a group of students who believe that the web filtering program that Nebo School District implements is flawed and needs to change. This website will show all of the work and research we have done to come to this conclusion and help explain our views. While we do not want Nebo School District to halt all web filtering, we are for change. The system in its current state is flawed and limits students' potential in school. It's keeping us safe, but it's also hiding countless amounts of information that could further our learning experience.